Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install Luke FC's FSR3 Frame Generation Modern Spider-Man Remastered, Hogwarts Legacy and Returnal running on Steam Deck with SteamOS. I have already explained the functioning and setup process for this mod. It basically replaces FSR2 with FSR3 in order to add frame generation support to any game. You need to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon membership in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around 6 US dollars. I'll kick things off with Spider-Man Remastered. First I'll run the game without the mod. For this game I'm using Proton version 8.0-5. Connected my Cosmic Byte status in on gamepad to Steam Deck via 2.4 GHz band wireless mode. I have the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Its display supports up to 60 Hz refresh rate. It does not support VRR. FPS higher than 60 on this display may not result in a smooth looking animation. 800p resolution. FSR 2.1 enabled using its quality preset. Medium preset. I have disabled motion blur. Its strength set to nil. Film grain strength set to nil as well. Performance tab. I have unlocked the FPS. These two settings have been enabled, disable frame limit and allow tearing. That's it. There's Spidey, I am in the city. Check out the image quality. This is without FSR3 frame generation mod installed. FPS is around 43. I'll just swing around the city. I have gotten used to ROG LS VRA enabled display. Image quality here is looking a bit jarring. Not pleasant. 40 to 45 FPS. And I will show you how to install Luke FC's mod in this game. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Just open Steam, click on library, find the game, and there it is. Click on the settings cog here, need to add a launch argument to it. Click on properties, click on general. This is the launch argument, I'll give it in the description of this video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. First just extract the contents of common mod files archive file. And there it is. Already downloaded the file from Luke FC's discord server. Copy these two files. Open the games install directory. Right click. Manage. Click on browse local files. Steam version of the game. This is the games install directory. Just paste the files here. This game uses FSR version 2.1. You just need to copy the mods ASF file corresponding to it. Extract the ASF file. Here it is. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Right here. That's it, we are ready to run the game. I'll switch to Steam Gaming Mode. Using the same compatibility layer as before. Start the game. Display settings 800p resolution. Now we have access to DLSS frame generation. Just enable it. The rest of the settings are left as this medium preset. Jump into the game. There is Spider Man standing in the middle of the street. Here, FPS is around 60 to 70. Check out the image quality. Not observing any graphical artifacts. Games, HUD elements are also not flickering. That's really good to see. This mod works very nicely in this game. But I'll be honest, game does not seem to be running very smoothly like the real 60 or 70 FPS. It may be due to the fact that Steam Deck does not support VRR. OLED variant owners may benefit more from this mod than the LCD variant owners as the former supports up to 90Hz refresh rate. FPS 
FPS stays close to 60 while I am swinging around the city. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Hogwarts Legacy, another popular AAA title. For this game, I am using Proton version 8.0-5. Start the game. First, I'll run it without the mod. We are in performance tab. Overlay level set to 2. Disable frame limit and allow tearing settings have been enabled. That's it. In game settings, 800p resolution. I'll enable FSR 2 using its balance preset motion blur disable in game vsync disable using the low preset ray tracing disable of course start the game i load the hogsmeade area standing at the entrance of hogsmeade there is my character here fps is around 50 check out the image quality not observing any artifacts this is the balance preset of fsr2 for the best results with frame generation, you want the base FPS to be as high as possible, at least 60, otherwise input delay will be a problem. I'll just sprint around this place, yeah FPS dropped down to 36, very variable FPS, now we are getting around 50, I'm observing some frame pacing issues, this game is very demanding on the hardware, consumes a lot of memory. Forty to fifty FPS. I'll show you how to install Luke FC's mod in this game. This is Steam or running in desktop mode. Just open Steam, click on library, select the game format, then click on the settings cog here. Need to add a launch argument. Click on general. There's the launch argument. Again, I'll provide it in the description. You can copy it from there and paste it here. Extract the contents of common mod files archive file now. There's the archive file. Extract its contents. Copy these two files. Open the games install directory. And on the Steam version of it. Right click manage browse local files. This is the games install directory. Open Phoenix folder. Open binaries folder. Win64 folder. Paste the files here. This game uses FSR version 2.2. Just need to copy the mods ASF file corresponding to it. Extract the ASF file. There it is, copy, paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files, right here. Now we need to generate the mods tuml file, just run the game with the mod installed, the file will be generated automatically. I'll just launch the game in steam desktop mode. Once we are in the menu, just exit the game. A black window with some log should pop up now, indicating that the mod is working. There you go. We are in, just close the game. Now go back to the directory where you pasted the mod files. A tml file will be present here. There it is. Open it. We need to set fake NVIDIA GPU and AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround to true. By default they are set to false. That's it. Click on file. Click on save. Close this file. We are ready to run the game. I'll switch to Steam Gaming mode using the same compatibility layer as before. Game settings 800p resolution. I'll just switch to DLSS now. There it is. Using its balance preset. Frame generation enabled. That worked. Motion blur disabled. Using the low preset. Start the game. There's a character. I am in Hogsmeed. Image quality is looking decent, not observing any graphical artifacts. Games HUD elements are not flickering. FPS is a bit variable 70 to 80. Mod is definitely working. But again, the animation is not looking smooth at all. Yeah, it's jarring 60 to 80 FPS.
I tested this mod on my ROG LF. Game was running very smoothly. FPS was around 80 to 100. Animation was looking very smooth. Not the case with Steam Deck here. Again, we are uh, maybe the reason. Also, this is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Display supports up to 60 hertz refresh rate only. So now I'll be testing the next game. I'll be running the Epic Games version of Returnal. This game is very demanding on the hardware and its performance on Steam Deck is not good at all. For Epic Games, I am using this compatibility layer, Proton Experimental. I have already shown you how to install Epic Games on Steam OS via Steam itself. We'll drop the video link in the description. Now I'll be tweaking one setting from the engine.inf file. It is actually present in the compile data folder corresponding to Epic Games Store. So you need to know Epic's compile data ID. It will vary from user to user as it's a non-Steam Windows application. You can find the ID using Proton Tricks. You can download Proton Tricks for absolutely free from Discover Store. This is the name of compile data folder corresponding to Epic Games on my Steam Deck. Last digits 77. Now just open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on Home. Open Deck folder. Open dot local folder. Open share folder. Scroll down and look for Steam folder. There it is. Here look for Steam apps folder. There it is. Open it. Open compile data folder. Here just look for the folder corresponding to Epic Games. In my case, this is the folder. Last digit 77. Open PFX folder. Open Drive C folder. Open users folder. Open Steam user folder. Open app data folder, open local folder, open returnal folder, open epic folder, saved folder, config folder, windows no editor folder, there is the engine.inf file, finally we found it, open it, scroll down to the end and create a new section, name it as system settings, hit enter and then add this line of text tggi dot enable equal to nil. I'll provide this text in the description of the video. You can just copy it from there and paste it here. Then click on file, click on save. Close the text file. We are ready to run the game. I'll just switch to Steam Gaming Mode. Epic started. And there's the game. Performance tab, overlay level set to 2. Enable allow tearing and disable frame limit settings. And that's it. Opening cutscene, I'll just skip it. These are the graphics setting, in-game vSync disable, FSR enable, using its performance preset, everything set to low, all effects disabled. Seven twenty P resolution. It's a roguelike third person shooter. There's a character. We are stuck on this planet. We'll be fighting against hostile aliens. FPS is within a range of 30 to 40. Heard a weird noise. There's an alien nearby. There it is. This game suffers from traversal stutters. Whenever you enter any new area, FPS will drop down to as low as 25 and suddenly increase up to 40 on Steam Deck. And the hitch. Dark environments. I absolutely hate them. And there's a spacecraft. Yeah, FPS dropped down to 7. <laughs> Jump back up to 37. Now I'll show you how to install the mod. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Just open Steam, click on library, find Epic Games. Need to add a launch argument to it. There it is. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. There's the launch argument. I'll provide it in the description of this video. It's the same launch argument that we use with Hogwarts Legacy. Now extract the contents of common mod files archive file. And there you go. Copy these two files. Paste it in the games install directory. 
I have installed the game on my Steam Deck's internal storage home blizzard folder. This is the game's installed directory. Open returnal folder. Open binaries folder. Open bin64 folder. Paste the files here. For this game we need to use another file from the common mod files. Just open optional underscore nvngx folder. Copy this dll file nvngx. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Now we need to execute this registry file enable signature override.reg. We can do this using Proton Tricks. Launch Proton Tricks. Find Epic Games. Double click. And just wait for this window to pop up. It can take about 10 seconds. Select the default Find Picks option is checked. Then click on OK. Then select this option Run Regitate. Click on OK. Wait for the next window to pop up. There you go. Then click on registry. Then click on import registry file. Now you just need to navigate to a directory where the registry file is present. In my case, it's the download directory. So just click on my computer, Z drive, internal storage, open home folder, open deck folder, open downloads folder, new folder in my case, returnal folder optional underscore nvngx folder there is the registry file enable signature override then click on open ok we are done registry exit close this game uses fsr version 2.1 you just need to copy the mods asi file corresponding to it first extract the asi file Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous mod files in this directory. Now we need to generate the mods TUML file. Just run the game with the mod installed. Wait for the games menu to load up, then exit the game. Just launch Epic Games, launch Returnal, black window with some logs will pop up. We are in, just exit the game. Go back to a directory where you pasted the mod files. Here look for a TML file. There it is. Open it. Just set fake and media GPU to true. By default it is set to false. We are ready to run the game. Click on file, save. Close the file. I'll switch to Steam Gaming Mode using the same compatibility layer as before Proton Experimental Graphics setting I have enabled DLSS it's basically FSR3 using its performance preset frame generation enabled NVIDIA Reflex enabled as well I don't think it's going to work Low preset All effects disabled 720p resolution the game's performance there is a character yeah fps increased up to 80 that's really good to see it's so dark controls are responsive games hud elements are not flickering stand here bright light not observing any graphical artifacts no ghosting around the character model Shutter when I entered the new area. Very variable FPS here, ranging from 50 to 70. 39 FPS. Oh my god. Game is running like a slideshow. Jumped into combat. Here FPS is around 69 to 90. It's not stable at all. I would not recommend playing this game on Steam Deck. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.